there's another awe-inspiring form in Missouri. One that's made St. Louis one of the most easily recognized cities in the world. It's stunning Gateway Arch. Just one glance at the arch on the banks of the Mississippi River, and everyone knows this is St. Louis. More than half a century after it was built, it remains one of the nation's great engineering marvels. It was born from economic chaos. In the 1930s, during the Depression, unemployment rates in St. Louis were high. So city officials started looking for ways for St. Louis to get its hands on some of the federal cash being handed out under the New Deal. They managed to convince President Roosevelt and New Deal officials to fund a new riverfront park and memorial to President Thomas Jefferson and his leading role in America's westward expansion. St. Louis then launched a design competition for a new memorial on the site. The winner was a Finnish-American architect and designer named Eero Saarinen. His monumental arch seemed the perfect symbol of the opening up of the West and a way to frame the growing city of St. Louis. It took 900 million tons of stainless steel to build. Reportedly, the largest order of stainless steel in U.S. history. On October 28, 1965, thousands of excited St. Louis residents gathered below as a team of daring steelworkers hoisted themselves up to the top of the arch and then welded the final section of steel into place. Saarinen's engineering marvel was complete. It's now considered a major world monument. Its price tag of $13 million was a huge amount of money for a city like St. Louis to spend on a structure that had no practical use. That's one reason the arch is much more than a memorial. It's a powerful symbol of a unique time in the nation when political power and public funds worked together to build soaring monuments that affirmed America's leading place in the world. For the people of St. Louis, the Gateway Arch has given them an indelible brand. And looking back through Saarinen's upside-down catenary curve today, it remains a gateway to the West, just as St. Louis once was more than two centuries ago.